This project, the funds were donated by the World Bank, and it was an agreement between the Grenada government and World Bank. February 2019, the startup project started then, and the cost of the project was over 600,000 US dollars. And the project is estimated to produce over 200 kilowatts energy, which every month the execution should be about 351 kilowatts. And it will be sold to Green Lake at 45 cents per kilowatt. The training in St. Lucia was um, essentially to get a number of people who were were basically involved in the, the, the programs um, throughout the three islands that were um, given the, the projects for solar um, installation on, um, certain, on, on, on a few buildings. This training would certainly go a long way to helping us improve the quality of the course. And um, there's quite a lot of um, practical and insight that we got. We covered quite a lot of stuff. And, we had a number of other participants from other islands, and um, the experience was a rich one. They contributed a lot to at least my personal understanding of what is going on in the industry across the Caribbean. So part of it is actually to help build capacity within the industry, and at the same time to have people trained in the proper way in which the systems need to be set up. So with the system, we've got the grid tight system. We are not, well, technically, most likely, we are the ones consuming our own power. However, we are reducing on our consumption, on our bill at the end of the day, because with the agreements that would exist between the government or Grand Lake or the consumer and Grand Lake, we would expect that you sell to the grid meaning that you, we, we still end up buying back you know, from Grand Lake, but our overall consumption, our overall bill would be reduced at the end of the month. And 200 kilowatts um, of power fitting into the grid, especially at peak hours, such as you know, like in the midday when, and we're so close to the, 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 the commercial center, I mean, like St. George's. If we are not consuming all that power, then we are definitely giving it to some of the main consumers of power. So we are really, in a, in a sense, directly contributing to, you know, like the lowering, or at least from Grenlex's point of view, they should be seeing a great impact in terms of, like, our contribution from our sector into the grid system, which would, uh, which would allow them to basically have less of that um, peak demand made entirely by their system. As the young people come and attend TAM CC, they are going to do courses pertaining to PV system. The PV system, which is the way to go when it comes to renewable energy, it's a, it is an excellent project and it will benefit the entire Grenada.